I mean, it's a distraction, well, more than a distraction, it's a tragedy, but uh, it does have that knock-on effect. In a shocking turn of events, the world mourns the loss of Jewish-British banker Jacob Rothschild, who has passed away at the age of 87. Rothschild, a senior member of one of Europe's most prominent banking dynasties, leaves behind a legacy that extends far beyond the financial realm. But another thing he has left behind is his final words, and it is just disturbing. In this video, I will show you the disturbing last words of Jacob Rothschild. He wanted their wealth kept within the family and encouraged marriages between cousins. Ew. Dead at 87. Jacob Rothschild was born in England in 1936 into a family with a rich history in banking. The Rothschild banking family traces its roots back to 18th century Frankfurt, where their ancestors laid the foundation for their future success. From a young age, Jacob Rothschild was exposed to the world of finance and developed a keen interest in the industry. As he grew older, Rothschild's passion for finance led him to join the family bank, New Mexico Rothschild and Sons, in 1963. This marked the beginning of his illustrious career in the banking sector. With his sharp intellect and natural business acumen, Rothschild quickly made a name for himself within the industry. In the early years of his career, Jacob Rothschild played a pivotal role in the growth and expansion of NM Rothschild & Sons. His innovative ideas and strategic thinking propelled the bank to new heights, solidifying its position as a leading financial institution. Rothschild's dedication and commitment to excellence earned him the respect and admiration of his colleagues and peers. But Rothschild's ambitions extended beyond the family bank. In in 1970, he co-founded J. Rothschild Assurance Group, a venture that would later evolve into the renowned wealth management firm St. James's Place. This move showcased Rothschild's entrepreneurial spirit and his desire to explore new avenues within the financial industry. Throughout his career, Jacob Rothschild was involved in numerous business endeavors that showcased his versatility and foresight. One of his notable achievements was the founding of RIT Capital Partners, an investment trust that has backed a diverse range of companies from hedge funds to clean technology technology startups. Rothschild's ability to identify promising investment opportunities and navigate the ever-changing financial landscape was truly remarkable. While Rothschild's contributions to the financial world were significant, his impact extended far beyond banking. He was a long-standing patron of the arts and served as a trustee of Britain's National Gallery from 1985 to 1991. During his tenure, Rothschild played a crucial role in shaping the gallery's vision and supporting its mission to promote art and culture. Jacob Rothschild's unwavering commitment to philanthropy and his deep connection to Israel and Jewish culture were also defining aspects of his life. As chairman of Yad Hanadiv, the Rothschild family's charitable organization, he played a foundational role in the renewal of Israel's national library and the establishment of a new library building. Rothschild's vision, leadership and commitment were instrumental in making this dream a reality. Beyond his involvement with the National Library of Israel, Rothschild's philanthropic efforts extended to various charitable causes. He was a passionate supporter of environmental initiatives initiatives and dedicated his resources to preserving the natural world for future generations. Rothschild's commitment to making a positive impact on society was truly inspiring. Jacob Rothschild's passion for the arts was evident throughout his life. He believed in the power of art to inspire, educate and enrich the lives of individuals and communities. One of his notable roles in the arts world was his tenure as a trustee of Britain's National Gallery from 1985 to 1991. During this time, Rothschild played a crucial role in shaping the gallery vision and supporting its mission to promote art and culture. Rothschild's dedication to the arts extended beyond his role at the National Gallery. He was a long-standing patron of various cultural institutions and initiatives, providing financial support and guidance to help them thrive. His contributions to the arts community were recognized and celebrated by many, including Ed Vasey, Britain's former culture minister, who described Rothschild as one of the country's greatest cultural philanthropists. One of the most significant contributions of Jacob Rothschild to the culture cultural landscape was his involvement with the National Library of Israel. As chairman of Yad Hanadif, the Rothschild family's charitable organization, he played a foundational role in the library's renewal and the establishment of a new library building. Rothschild's vision, leadership and commitment were instrumental in making this dream a reality. The National Library of Israel holds a vast collection of ancient Hebrew manuscripts, books and other treasures that reflect the rich history and culture of the Jewish people. Recognizing the importance of preserving and sharing this 
Scots heritage, Rothschild dedicated himself to the library's renewal and expansion. His efforts aimed to develop a 21st century library that would preserve generations of Jewish and Israeli culture, provide superior services to the public and scholars, and play a central role in the intellectual and cultural life of all Israelis and the Jewish world. At the groundbreaking ceremony for the new library building in 2016, Jacob Rothschild expressed the significance of the project. He highlighted the long-standing relationship between his family and the library, stating, For 2,000 years our treasured books were scattered, with no geographic center of gravity. Now at long last, these volumes, as well as those yet to be written, together with a wide range of other collected materials, are to have a permanent home, and one where it should be, in the heart of Jerusalem. Rothschild's vision for the National Library of Israel extended beyond the physical building. With the support of Yad Hanadiv, the library has embraced digital technology, enabling the sharing of its treasures with the entire world. This digital initiative, powered in large part by Rothschild's philanthropy, has allowed the library to transcend geographical boundaries and connect with people, heritage institutions and Jewish communities across Europe through knowledge sharing, cultural and educational programming and storytelling. The impact of Jacob Rothschild's involvement with the National Library of Israel cannot be overstated. His unwavering support and commitment to preserving and illuminating the history of Jewish civilization have shaped the library into a beacon of knowledge and cultural heritage. Today, the library stands as a testament to Rothschild's dedication and his belief in the importance of preserving and sharing the rich tapestry of Jewish culture. While the loss of Jacob Rothschild will surely be felt, the truth is that the family has been able to withstand the test of time, and their story goes back to the 18th century, the legacy of the Rothschild. In the late 18th century, a young man named Meyer Amschel Rothschild embarked on a journey that would forever change the course of history. Born into a Jewish family in Frankfurt, Germany, Meyer Amschel possessed a keen intellect and a shrewd business sense. He recognized the potential of the banking industry and set out to establish his own financial empire. Meyer Amschel Rothschild started small, working as a coin dealer and money changer. However, he had grand ambitions and a vision that extended far beyond the borders of Frankfurt. With his five sons, Amschel, Salomon, Nathan, Carl, and James by his side, Maya Amschel laid the foundation for what would become the most powerful banking dynasty the world had ever seen. The Rothschilds quickly gained a reputation for their astute financial acumen and their ability to navigate the complex world of international finance. They understood the importance of establishing connections and building relationships with influential individuals. Through their network of contacts, the Rothschilds were able to secure lucrative deals and expand their influence across Europe. One of the key factors that set the Rothschilds apart was their ability to capitalize on opportunities presented by war. During the Napoleonic Wars, the Rothschilds acted as financial intermediaries, providing funds to various governments. Their extensive network of couriers allowed them to receive information about the outcome of battles before anyone else. This gave them a significant advantage in the financial markets, enabling them to make strategic investments and amass even greater wealth. As the Rothschilds' wealth grew, so did their influence. They became the bankers to the kings and queens of Europe, financing wars, building infrastructure, and even funding the construction of palaces. Their connections extended to the highest echelons of society, and they were often consulted on matters of state. But it wasn't just their financial prowess that made the Rothschilds so influential. They were also known for their philanthropy and their commitment to social causes. They funded hospitals, schools, and cultural institutions, leaving a lasting legacy in the communities they served. The Rothschilds' influence extended beyond the realm of finance. They were instrumental in the creation of the State of Israel, providing financial support to early Zionist leaders such as Theodore Herzl. Their involvement in the establishment of Israel further solidified their reputation as power brokers on the global stage. However, with great power comes great scrutiny, and the Rothschilds were not immune to controversy. Conspiracy theories and anti-Semitic sentiments have long surrounded the family, with some accusing them of manipulating world events for their own gain. While these claims are largely unfounded, they have contributed to the mystique and intrigue that surround the Rothschilds. One of the key factors that contributed to the Rothschilds' success was their ability to navigate the complex world of international finance. They were pioneers in the field of bond trading, and their expertise in this area allowed them to capitalize on emerging opportunities. By buying and selling government bonds, the Rothschilds were able to influence interest rates and shape the economic landscape of the countries they operated in. Their involvement in the bond market was not without controversy. Some accused the Rothschilds of manipulating bond prices for for their own gain, while others claimed that they had undue influence over governments. These allegations, however, were largely unfounded and served to further fuel the rumors and conspiracy theories that surrounded the family. In addition to their bond trading activities, the Rothschilds were also heavily involved in the mining industry. 
they invested in various mining ventures, particularly in South Africa, where they played a significant role in the development of the diamond and gold industries. Their investments in mining not only generated substantial profits, but also allowed them to exert influence over the economies of the countries where they operated. The Rothschilds' influence extended beyond the financial sector. They were also major players in the world of art and culture. The family amassed an impressive collection of artwork, including masterpieces by renowned artists such as Rembrandt, Raphael, and Van Gogh. Their patronage of the arts not only showcased their wealth, but also cemented their status as cultural tastemakers. Another area where the Rothschilds exerted their influence was in the realm of philanthropy. They were known for their charitable endeavors, donating large sums of money to causes such as education, healthcare, and social welfare. Their philanthropic efforts helped improve the lives of countless individuals and communities further enhancing their reputation as benefactors of society. However, the Rothschild's influence was not without its challenges. The rise of nationalism and anti-Semitism in the late 19th and early 20th centuries posed significant threats to their operations. As governments became more suspicious of foreign influences, the Rothschilds faced increased scrutiny and restrictions on their banking activities. The family also faced personal tragedies and setbacks. The death of family members, financial crises and political upheavals all took their toll on the Rothschilds. However, they persevered through these challenges, adapting to the changing times and continuing to exert their influence on the global stage. While the Rothschilds were primarily known for their financial prowess, their influence extended far beyond the realm of banking. They were deeply involved in politics, using their wealth and connections to shape the course of nations and influence world events. One of the most notable examples of the Rothschilds' political influence was their involvement in the Congress of Vienna in 1814 to 1815. This diplomatic gathering aimed to redraw the map of Europe after the defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte. The Rothschilds played a crucial role in financing the war against Napoleon and were rewarded with a seat at the negotiating table. Their presence allowed them to safeguard their financial interests and ensure that their influence extended to the highest levels of power. The Rothschilds' political connections were not limited to Europe. They had a significant impact on the United States as well. In the early 19th century, the Rothschilds provided financial support to the American government during times of crisis. Their assistance helped stabilize the U.S. economy and solidify their influence across the Atlantic. In addition to their involvement in international politics, the Rothschilds also exerted their influence on domestic affairs. They were known to finance political campaigns and support candidates who aligned with their interests. By doing so, they were able to shape policies and legislation that favored their business ventures. One of the most controversial aspects of the Rothschilds' political influence was their alleged involvement in the creation of the Federal Reserve system in the early 20th century. Conspiracy theories suggest that the family played a pivotal role in the establishment of this central banking system, which some believe gave them even greater control over the global economy. While these claims lack concrete evidence, they have contributed to the perception of the Rothschilds as puppet masters pulling the strings of world events. The Rothschilds' political influence was not limited to the past. Even today, members of the family continue to be involved in politics and hold positions of power. Their connections and financial resources allow them to shape policies and influence decision-making processes behind closed doors. However, it is important to note that the Rothschilds' political influence, like any other influential family, has its limits. They are not omnipotent puppet masters, but rather individuals who have leveraged their wealth and connections to exert influence in the political arena. Heirs. With the death of Jacob Rothschild, there are a few Rothschilds who will continue to carry the family name. First, we begin with Hannah Rothschild. She stands as a creative force, making her mark in the world of literature, film and philanthropy. As the oldest child of Lord Jacob Rothschild and Serena Dunn Rothschild, Hannah has carved out a unique path for herself, showcasing her immense talent and passion. Born in 1961, Hannah grew up surrounded by the rich history and legacy of the Rothschild family. From an early age, she displayed a keen interest interest in the arts and storytelling, which would later become the driving force behind her successful career. Beyond her creative pursuits, Hannah has also made significant contributions to the world of philanthropy. She served as the chair of the Board of Trustees of the National Gallery in London from 2015 to 2019, becoming the first woman to hold this prestigious position. Her dedication to the arts and culture has been instrumental in shaping the direction of the gallery and ensuring its continued success. In addition to her role at the National Gallery, Hannah has chaired the board of Yad Hanadiv, the Rothschild family's philanthropic foundation in Israel since 2018. Through this foundation, she has continued the family's long-standing tradition of supporting
supporting Jewish charities and initiatives. Her commitment to philanthropy has made a lasting impact on countless individuals and communities. Hannah Rothschild's contributions to the world of arts, literature and philanthropy have solidified her as a true creative force within the Rothschild family. Her ability to weave captivating stories, both in writing and film, has garnered critical acclaim and captivated audiences worldwide. Her dedication to preserving and promoting the arts through her philanthropic endeavors has left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. In the realm of finance, Nathaniel Nat Rothschild, the youngest child and only son of Lord Jacob Rothschild and Serena Mary Dunn, has emerged as a formidable force. With a career spanning hedge funds and advisory businesses, Nat has made a name for himself as a financial titan. Born into the illustrious Rothschild family in 1972, Nat was destined to follow in the footsteps of his ancestors. He began his career in finance as the co-chairman of the hedge fund Atticus Capital in 1996. Under his leadership, Atticus Capital thrived, becoming one of the most successful hedge funds of its time. Nat's keen business acumen and ability to navigate the complexities of the financial world propelled him to great heights. However, Nat's financial prowess extends beyond his tenure at Atticus Capital. He has also been involved in advisory businesses focused on emerging markets and natural resources transactions. His deep understanding of these sectors and his ability to identify lucrative investment opportunities have earned him a reputation as a savvy investor. In 2012, Forbes estimated Nat's net worth at $1 billion, a testament to his financial success. However, it is important to note that he is not currently included in Forbes's billionaire's ranking. Nevertheless, his wealth and influence within the financial industry are undeniable. With the passing of his father, Lord Jacob Rothschild, Nat assumed the title of the fifth Baron Rothschild. This inheritance not only solidified his place within the family, but also added to his already impressive legacy. Despite his financial achievements, Nat has maintained a relatively low public profile compared to some of his family members. While his siblings siblings Hannah, Beth and Emily have pursued their own passions and interests, Nat has focused primarily on his career in finance. However, his contributions to the family's legacy are no less significant. Today, Nat resides in Switzerland, where he spends the majority of his time. He serves as the executive chairman of the board of directors at Volex, an electrical manufacturing company. His leadership and strategic vision have been instrumental in guiding the company to continued success. Beyond his professional endeavors, Nat is known for his philanthropic efforts. Like his family, he has a strong commitment to giving back to society. While he may not be as publicly involved in philanthropy as some of his relatives, his contributions have made a meaningful impact on various causes and organizations. In the world of media and philanthropy, Lynn Forrester de Rothschild has established herself as a true powerhouse. As the CEO of E.L. Rothschild, a holding company with investments in various media properties, Lynn has made significant contributions to the industry while also dedicating herself to philanthropic endeavors. Born in 1950, Lynn's journey into the world of media began with her marriage to Sir Evelyn de Rothschild, a cousin of Jacob Rothschild. Together, they built a formidable partnership, with Lynn playing an instrumental role in the growth and success of E.L. Rothschild. Under her leadership, the company has made strategic investments in a range of media properties, including the prestigious Economist Group. Lynn's influence in the media industry extends far beyond her role at L. Rothschild. She has been a driving force in shaping the landscape of media and communications, leveraging her expertise and connections to make a lasting impact. Her visionary approach and business acumen have earned her a reputation as a trailblazer in the industry. In addition to her accomplishments in media, Lynn has also been actively involved in philanthropy. She has dedicated her time and resources to various causes, with a particular focus on empowering women and promoting social change. Lynn's commitment to philanthropy is evident in her support for organizations that champion women's rights and economic empowerment. Lynn gained significant attention in the political sphere for her involvement in the 2008 U.S. presidential election. As a major fundraiser for Hillary Clinton, she played a pivotal role in supporting Clinton's campaign. However, Lynn's political affiliations extend beyond party lines. She gained notoriety for subsequently endorsing John McCain, showcasing her independent thinking and willingness to support candidates based on their merits. Despite her high-profile status, Lynn has managed to maintain a relatively low public profile compared to some of her family members. She splits her time between New York and London, where she she continues to oversee the family's business interests and pursue her philanthropic endeavors. Lynn's contributions to the media industry and philanthropy have solidified her as a true powerhouse within the Rothschild family. Her leadership and vision have shaped the direction of E.L. Rothschild and the media properties it invests in, while her dedication to philanthropy has made a tangible impact on the lives of many. Our story begins with the remarkable life of Nadine de Rothschild, a woman who defied societal norms and carved
carved her own path to success. Born on November 18, 1932 in Saint-Quentin, France, Nadine was destined to become a force to be reckoned with. Growing up in a privileged environment, Nadine was exposed to the world of wealth and influence from an early age. Her father, Alain de Rothschild, was a prominent member of the Rothschild banking family, known for their immense fortune and influence in the financial world. As a young girl, Nadine closely observed her father's business dealings, developing a keen interest in finance and entrepreneurship. She was determined to make her mark in a world dominated by men. Nadine's ambition and drive led her to pursue a career in the business world. In the 1950s, she joined the prestigious Rothschild banking firm, breaking barriers and becoming one of the few women in the industry. With her sharp intellect and unwavering determination, Nadine quickly rose through the ranks, earning the respect and admiration of her colleagues. Her business acumen and financial expertise were unparalleled. Nadine's accomplishments didn't stop at her successful career in banking. She was a woman of many talents and passions. In the 1960s, she ventured into the world of theatre, showcasing her acting skills on stage and screen. Nadine's magnetic presence and undeniable talent captivated audiences, earning her critical acclaim and establishing her as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. But Nadine's ambitions didn't end there. In the 1970s, she made a bold move that would solidify her status as a style icon and entrepreneur. Nadine launched her own perfume line, aptly named Nadine, which became an instant sensation. Her exquisite taste and attention to detail made her fragrances highly sought after, further cementing her place in the world of luxury. Nadine's entrepreneurial spirit and knack for business ventures continued to flourish over the years. She expanded her brand into various industries including fashion, jewellery and even authoring books on etiquette and social graces. Through her books, Nadine shared her wisdom and experiences, empowering women around the world to embrace their femininity and navigate the complexities of modern society. As a socialite and philanthropist, Nadine Nadine was a fixture in high society, attending glamorous events and supporting charitable causes close to her heart. Her philanthropic endeavors, coupled with her unwavering dedication to her family and heritage, have solidified her legacy as a woman of substance and grace. As we continue our exploration of the Rothschild family, we turn our attention to Edouard de Rothschild, a man whose name is synonymous with power, influence, and a passion for the arts. Born on February 17, 1957, in Neuilly-sur-Seine, France, Edouard was destined to leave a an indelible mark on the world. Growing up in the lap of luxury, Edouard was exposed to the world of finance and philanthropy from an early age. His father, Guy de Rothschild, was a prominent figure in the banking industry, and his mother, Marie Helene de Rothschild, was a renowned socialite and fashion icon. Surrounded by influential figures and immersed in a world of privilege, Edouard developed a deep appreciation for the arts and a strong sense of responsibility to carry on the family legacy. Edouard's passion for the arts led him to become a prominent patron, supporting and nurturing talent across various artistic disciplines. His love for theatre in particular became a driving force in his life. Edouard's contributions to the theatre world were unparalleled. He founded the Théâtre des Bouffes Parisiens, a historic theatre in Paris, and served as its president for many years. Under his guidance, the theatre flourished, showcasing groundbreaking productions and nurturing emerging talent. Edouard's dedication to the arts extended beyond the stage. He also played a pivotal role in the world of cinema, serving as a producer for critically acclaimed films that pushed boundaries and challenged societal norms. Through his involvement in the film industry, Edouard brought thought-provoking stories to the screen, shedding light on important social issues and captivating audiences worldwide. But Edouard's talents and contributions were not limited to the arts alone. He also made a significant impact in the business world, following in the footsteps of his esteemed ancestors. Edouard's business acumen and strategic vision propelled him to the forefront of the financial industry. He played a key role in the family's banking empire, ensuring its continued success success and expansion into new markets. Edouard's leadership and innovative thinking earned him the respect of his peers and solidified the Rothschild family's position as a global powerhouse in finance. Edouard's commitment to philanthropy was also a cornerstone of his life. He dedicated his time and resources to numerous charitable causes, making a positive impact on the lives of countless individuals. That brings us to the end of this video. For more interesting videos like this, click on the cards on your screen.